um, welcome to another session uh, that we are the Faculty of Graduate Studies, University of Murtu is holding on the subject of uh, research students. Uh, not only from University of Morato, I think we have we have uh, interested uh, parties joining from other outside as well as we announce it across. Uh, so let me uh, introduce the speaker of today, and um, he is uh, Mr. Nimal Herat, who is actually uh, the manager director of uh, MANK Services. And um, he is anyway closely tied to the university system because he has been the uh, is a, a, a retired deputy bursa from University of Kalania and uh, with a master's in business administration also from University of Kalania. And uh, he also has a Bachelor of Science a special degree, started uh, his first degree, is from University of Sri Jayavadanapura. So I suppose he understand uh, what uh, students need and then subsequently he has started this, uh, he has been the uh, Sri Lankan agent for Grammarly. Of course, uh, why we are discussing this is, um, this is a tool uh, that you have in support of, um, for in writing. Um, we have this sometimes called the syndrome um, ABD, right? That is all about the dissertation. We get too worried over the dissertation. We don't start writing, we postpone. But um, in any research, that is the center point, centerpiece, right? Because you're communicating. So we thought uh, this month's uh, Lighthouse talk, we will have uh, this uh, presentation who is introducing a tool that's available and it's, um, it's a global product and where the students can make use of. And we also at Faculty of Graduate Studies to University of Moratu have now started the pilot testing of it. So our research students are welcome to come to FTS and make use of the facility to, um, because we are trying to uh, see how the facility is getting used before launching it full full scale. So with that, uh, I would like to hand over to uh, Mr. Herat and thanking for accepting our invitation. Uh, University of Library, Ms. Naini also helped in um, organizing this event. So uh, the library is present. And so over to you, Mr. Herat. Uh, yeah, uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for your nice uh, introduction. As you rightly said, uh, the, our organization is MANK Service International. After my retirement, I fully engage with this. Otherwise, my son was handling this. So we are the local distributor for Grammarly, and not only Sri Lanka, but for uh, Maldives as well. Just a minute. Grammarly Incorporation head office is uh, in San Francisco, USA. This is a USA product. Initiated in Ukraine in 2009. These are the uh, historical events. Basically, we uh, check English language only. So almost all the operating systems will be supported. Basic information about the company. Uh, we have a uh, free service as well. Anybody can go to uh, Grammarly website and get this service. Uh, he can check his grammar, spelling, punctuation. And uh, now we are going to uh, talk about the paid service. In paid service, we have uh, a few more advanced type of uh, suggestions to improve your writing. These are the things I will discuss one by one in the, uh, on the way. Uh, this is useful for anyone who writes in English uh, language, maybe academic, student, school student, admin, uh, anyone who interested in using uh, English. These cost information, those are not required at the moment. Uh, so before uh, I mean going to the normal business, I would like to show this a uh, few uh the, the slides if you closely look at uh, the if we um, when we actually do oral communication with our body language people can understand what we are telling but when we do something on in writing it has to be properly punctuated 
otherwise uh, people get some uh, different meaning if we do not put a proper comma over here the meaning is totally different next eat your dinner here also same totally different meaning uh, they get 25 dollar bills 25 so the hyphenation if we do wrong hyphen then meaning is totally different now i want to thank my parents tiffany tiffany and god now if we have not properly uh, uh use comma the me totally different meaning here the parents mean tiffany and god but it has to be right this way. Parents, Kama, Tiffany, and God, likewise. So here also same, these are just to emphasize the importance of using commas, uh, the defunctuations, etc. Now, sir, last time actually I uh, described you uh, the the uh, how to make use for academic purpose uh, to uh, submit document and uh, uh, they, they get a uh, uh, report like that now still uh, i would like to ask all students i hope have a, as soon as uh, you see this thing you can understand the uh, the, the meaning of this see the message and for Saradiel's uh, execution from uh, England, Queen uh, Elizabeth or somebody. According to the folklore, it says that the, the Queen did not want to kill Saradia. They have sent a message, kill him not, let him go. But unfortunately, uh, the receiver has put uh, the full stop over here. See the difference. So, uh, this kind of unintentional mistakes we can uh, eliminate it with the Grammarly. So I will directly go to the, uh, uh, the the practical aspect. Now, most of the time people used to write uh, uh, the, using uh, the, the Word document, but wherever you do writing, you can uh, improve your uh, writing uh, with Grammarly. So I hope my word document is visible now. Hello. No, Hello. Not yet. not yet. Only the slide still. Uh, you may have to change. Just a minute, sir. Is it okay now? No. Uh, now we yeah. are. Now we yes. are. Right. Right. Uh, once you uh, the the uh, a minute. This is how basically when you open your uh, word document, it appears like this only. Uh, in the ribbon, you find a uh, different thing called Grammarly, and in the uh, home tab itself, you find open Grammarly over here. So you can uh, go to Grammarly uh, icon here and click open Grammarly, or otherwise. From home tab itself, you can click over uh, open Grammarly. As soon as you click open Grammarly, uh, your uh, system, uh, the, the screen will be divided into two. And uh, before you uh, the start checking or editing your document, it is always better to set your, set your goals or adjust your goals. Click here for what kind of audience that you are going to write this uh, uh, letter generally if it is general easy for any every anyone to read with minimal effort if it is for knowledgeable crowd requires focus to read and understand likewise uh, the system will uh, get different features according to our selection even formality also same if it is informal you can use whatever the words you like and if it is neutral, allow uh, certain uh, standard casual expression, but testing some uh, the, the uh, some expressions. And if it is formal, 
uh, the strictly uh, slang and colloquialism will be uh, restricted. I will just uh, select neutral. Domain also you can select if it is for academic purpose or business purpose, general likewise. So I just select as academic, here expert, formal, right. Now, uh, as soon as you start, I mean, start your writing, Grammarly will uh, come and help you to uh, correct whatever the mistakes you do. Here, if you look at this, all issues, there are 39 issues, 13 correctness, uh, correctness uh, related issues, 24 clarity related issues, engagement related issues likewise. And there is another tab called uh, plagiarism. Uh, you, uh, the, the Grammarly help you to write free of plagiarism as well. But once you click on plagiarism, all other functions will be muted. Only uh, plagiarism uh, will be activated. According to the uh, the, the Grammarly, 85% plagiarism is there for this particular document. The reason is that this is a published document. If you click on anywhere, the original link will be appeared over here. So what you have to do is you have to give proper citation according to the uh, the highlighted uh, or the original document. If you want, you can go to the original document as well as well as, as well by clicking over here. If you click over here, you can go to the original document. I hope uh, the word document is uh, visible now. Hello. Yes, what you have done. What document is visible now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, so uh, the, uh, this is how uh, you can do, I mean, to uh, check for grammar, the, the similarities, whatever the similar plagiarism. And uh, I will activate all the all other issues, then automatically plagiarism will be off. Like, let's see how to do, how do editing with this uh, Grammarly. Now all issues have been highlighted. Actually, that day also I told this document is a very good document. Uh, there are very uh, the low amount of uh, mistakes are there. Here it says that inconsistent spacing. Spacing have not been consistent in one place. Uh, one space is there. In some other places, two spaces are there. The, this is the normal uh, the, the parameters. This is how you have to do it. Or nowadays, using a single space between sentences is standard in most academic and business settings. Likewise, so just, uh, a student can go through this and uh, understand what it is and uh, do selection accordingly. I just arbitrarily will select one space is enough. So everything will be updated at once. Here it says that for the protection of, the, that is how the researcher has written in this document. But Grammarly says that uh, the phrase for protection of may be wordy. Too, too many words we have used over here, but Grammarly suggests us to use only to protect. If the both way gives the same meaning, why do we use uh, the more words? The grammar rule is given over here. So that day we accepted it. I hope the student also will uh, uh, agree with me. I accept it. Madam, somebody told that uh, this may be correct, I, I suppose. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we have to ignore it, then you can dismiss. Yeah, it's okay. Sir? 
मैडम या कीप दैट प्लेस एस इट इज कीप एस इट इज म्यूट देन हियर इट से दे आर नॉट conversely bound the day is a passive voice basically uh, passive voice is a not a mistake it's a style choice only uh, but the grammarly always says that when you write something in passive voice readers are a little bit uh, difficult to understand if you are in a position to put to active voice that is better or otherwise you can just ignore i will ignore it here grammarly says that uh, comma is required it seems that you are missing a comma consider adding a comma missing comma uh, the all the, the the grammar rule about the comma and the incorrect way of writing correct way of writing is given over here student can uh, go through and select accordingly Uh, now it says that bit is not required, ma'am. Uh, do you act, uh, are you in agreement with this? Effects on the reproductive system without width. Are you in agreement, madam? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we can delete. That. Right. As soon as click on here. Or other, or if you want, you can uh, the undo as well. Actually, if you do it and accidentally, you can undo. Lack of awareness on. What about this, madam? Further, the lack of awareness on the associated risk of refusing. But the grammarly says that uh, the on is not uh, the appropriate. Instead of that, of has to be used. Incorrect prepositions. What should I do, ma'am? Uh, let's keep that. Right. Here once again passive voice. Such a phenomena, this phrase such a may be wordy. You see, long phrase when a short uh, one, likewise, I, the grammar rule is given over here, inflated phrase. In agreement, oh, let's use this uh, for instead of such as, such a. Uh, same way, no? Dismiss it. E. Oh, accept. You want to accept or dismiss? Yeah, let's accept that. It's been a while. Right. Once again, passive voice business. This is a little bit error free document. Uh, I do not have that much thing to show. Uh, cycle of refilling portable water into. Now, they say that there is a uh, need of uh, having an article. Cycle, cycle of refilling, the cycle. A cycle, is, right? Which one? A cycle article of, uh, second one, a cycle of refilling uh, portable. Right. Was selected once again passive voice. You have not done that much of mistake, madam. So I have nothing to show. Once again, passive voice. Passive voice once again is not a uh, mistake. It's only also. 
During every uh, reuse event, a control experiment was also conducted. Was also conduct conducted or was conducted? Should I keep or remove? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Agreement. No? Yeah. Right. Fortunately, found another mistake. But now it says that the, the, the word micro and seems to be miswritten. Consider replacing it. We have give, uh, given extra space over here. That is the mistake. My and spectra by way of diminishing factor. Functional by way of or by diminishing. Which one is correct, madam? I think it should have to keep as way right. of diminishing. Right. Actually, Grammarly is not for the beginners. This is for the uh, English writers to improve their writing skills. Now here it says that uh, the engagement related things. Yeah, that yeah, can be changed as mainly. Mainly, uh, mainly yeah. is better than using yeah. large three. Good. Will said it says that uh, you are missing a verb. Grammar rule is given over here. Missing verb. Incorrect uh, way of writing is given. Correct way of writing is given will be shared, madam. Likewise, so when you keep on writing, <clears throat> this way when you uh, keep on writing the family uh, suggests then and there whatever the mistake you do when you keep on writing personal pronouns in formal writing uh, uh, ma'am you, you may know this uh, role uh, the, uh, the the Formal writing, it is always better to avoid uh, the personal pronouns. That is how it says. This way, uh, you have once again the same meaning. Paper, I have misspelled over here. Grammarly, come and help you. Once again, the earlier one. Writing, I have misspelled. Plagiarism three. It, it's a hyphenated word. Missing hyphen. So this way, uh, when someone uh, start writing in a new document like this, control new. I hope uh, you see a blank do the word document now, sir. No. Yeah. No, not yet. Just a minute. Blank. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now it's up. Right. Chani, now, uh, there is a question. I don't know whether you can answer right now. Okay, sir. In the chat. Uh, 
asked as a question most of the time uh, academic uh, writers use uh, passive uh, voice and grammarly suggests to replace that even though we go with the academic type in setting goals any comment sir actually i will show you we have uh, i didn't was uh, here so actually we are directly uh, discussing about the writing issues then i did not show you the initial uh, setting or global settings i will show you how to do this global settings now are you in a position to see my uh, the, the grammarly editor something yeah, we see a we see a blank screen ah uh, just a minute no no we see the open document with the grammarly by the side no. still yeah now grammarly editor yeah, right right now in this grammarly editor the my, the, my uh, the the editor has a different pan, a different uh, the option called admin panel but in your account you don't find admin panel but instead of that account setting or something this kind of thing is will be there so under that customization is given so in customization you can have your own dictionary uh, or you can change your language what language you are uh, your mother, what is your mother language and what language you are writing if you want to write american english you can select and if you are, if you are writing for a british institution you better always uh, change british english or if it is for a canadian english Australian English, so you can do that selection as well. Uh, certain uh, the the spellings and uh, type of things will be changed according to the selection. And writing style also you can uh, uh, select. Avoid passive voice. If you keep on avoid passive voice, always this uh, suggestion will will be appeared. So if you off it. then thereafter uh, that uh, the indication will not be there but even if you get the indication nothing to worry about that is a indication only you do not want to accept and sometimes the grammarly may give a wrong suggestion as well so the readers of uh, the, this uh, solution is not for a beginner but for a uh, expert writers to improve their uh, unintentional mistakes like so what you have to do is you just ignore okay sir sir right i hope uh, it is acceptable no But, even uh, though can we can we just try the same article that you did try with uh, setting at expert communication because usually when you write paper to a journal mm. it's not going to the general public it is Uh -huh. expert so shall i just check how what you get when you do expert yeah i selected expert earlier sir i that okay yeah. expert and for formality formal domain i selected as academic oh, this I is how it okay okay so then that's going okay right right so this way uh, a student can uh, i mean check their writing then and there Uh, 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 when they do writing with in the, the the word document, and if they want to check correctness related issues, uh, uh, the uh, after uh, this is for editing actually. Whatever the things that you have already uh, written, you can check this way. Otherwise, even when you start writing uh, something, that is also possible. So you can uh, do correction first. then uh, focus on clarity related thing and engagement related thing delivery related thing but i always would like to suggest you to select all issues at once and uh, keep on doing editing so the what we did was an editing and uh, the in the blank uh, document i wanted to just show you the same thing that i did earlier i will get a Wow. So piece of some other paper. Just give me a minute, sir.
now you are behind that blank document i copied some uh, the, the stuff from here uh, sir you are visible this thing no the new word document hello yeah it's uh, yes. right, right right assume that i just uh, started writing this way most of the deliberately i will do some mistakes publishers this way when we so then and there I, we can do a correction like this publishers especially marketing now this is how i wrote it but grammarly suggests to write the uh, other way to improve the readability they get the service of subscription agents in singapore and in india to market their products in asia instead of that uh, grammarly says they get subscription agent service in singapore and india subscription service india this is make uh, but, but this gives a different meaning but madam i hope you don't agree with this no so we have to ignore but if it is acceptable we can replace or otherwise we can undo handling by handling just by handling leading so these are the uh, the usefulness for the uh, student basically but for academics uh, or the uh, if you have uh, a group of uh, student and for two three people write something and uh, give for some one person to check then you you can immediately upload and see the report this is how it can be done i hope you can see the grammarly uh, editor now grammarly hello yes we can see yeah yeah right this is uh, this is how this is basically good for academic they can upload a document and get uh, a report then and there upload desktop meeting with the mark same document i am going to upload as soon as i upload uh, the goal settings uh, window will appear you have to select your goals expert formal academic tone adjustment is also you can to confident analytical in, intent what is your intention inform describe convince tell a story in convince maybe describe so as soon as we uh, complete our goal settings uh, the uh, now the system will start checking now this uh, screen has been divided into three pieces in left hand side the document we are uh, the uploader 
in the middle, the suggestion given by Grammarly, and in right hand corner, overall score given for this particular document. 98 out of 100 is given, this is a good document. And goal settings, uh, what we done is uh, appeared here. We have set uh, five goals, all suggestions, correctness related suggestion, like the same thing, but uh, We have to select the plagiarism related uh, uh, solution as well to get the printout. 85% uh, plagiarism. So to get the printout, go to overall score. And basic information is given, uh, the word count is given, reading time, characters, words, etc. Readability, vocabulary, everything is given download please move this window away from your screen frozen Right, I have done the, uh, the downloading is finished now. We'll see that report. We can't hear you. Yes, sir. I shared the report now. Do you see it? Yes. Right. These are these these informations are given. The uh, uh, the heading is given. The person who uploaded is given. Characters, words, sentences, uh, reading time, scores, plagiarism percentage. Writing issues. This is the document with notations. And ultimately, uh, details is given in the bottom of the report. And they, actually, this is good for academics to upload docu student document and uh, share once again with the students to enable them to do correction. If it is your own document, no need of having a, a report like this. The issue is given, suggestion is given. A similar the, from, from where the similarity gets is given uh, this is all about uh, this thing basically grammarly is a writing skill development uh, the, the tool so student can uh, improve their writing skills with uh, grammarly So I hope it is high time to uh, uh, allow participants to ask anything they want to get more clarification. Sir. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, you have the chance to ask any questions. I think we saw the, the free version or how to run it as well as the professional version. Anyone with a question? What you heard was a really a, a technical demonstration 
of what one can achieve through a tool like this. And I suppose it's quite clear. However, if you have any questions, please. The chat questions were answered. You can get the recording uh, from the YouTube, uh, also the past events also. If you go to the Bolgada channels, uh, Bolgada Plains YouTube. So someone has asked, are we planning to buy this to the university? I suppose the question is University of Morato, but can you answer that question whether other universities are using this? Uh, basically, University of Calonia already used it for 2,000 accounts, and uh, uh, the uh, price we charge for them is uh, only 6 USD per head. Uh, and uh, the uh, Eastern University is using for 500 US accounts. Sabaragamu University is using 400 US accounts. The, uh, the, the, if anyone want to uh, the, the subscribe directly, if it's actually uh, expensive, about 100 and, uh, $144 we have to pay annually, but our uh, the university subscription is very much lower than that. If it is 500 US accounts, we charge only 10 USD per head. If it is 2000 uh, USA accounts, we charge only 6 USD per head. So that is and the for uni University of Morato at the stage at this stage, we have a trial account running at FTS. So that's mm. the only answer we can give for the moment. But you're welcome to the FTS and trial it. Uh, suggestion is that the, uh, this is a very good tool, uh, not because of that I am selling, I, I am telling that this is a very good tool. Uh, I have compared with other tools available, uh, but this is the best one. So even I am using uh, the, the British uh, one, it's called uh, Pro Writing, but it's not given this, this kind of advanced uh, the features. So if you are in a position to enjoy the university rate, it is better. There's a question on the chat. How can we get the recording of this session? Yes, it will be hopefully either today or tomorrow or day after it will be uploaded. Uh, and the past recordings are also there. That is on the you see the university site, the Bolgada Plains YouTube. Okay. I, Okay, sir. <clears throat> well, I suppose then it's been clear and uh, we have had a informative session. If there are no more questions. Uh, we... So thank you so much. We can uh, uh, for the uh, evening, yes. Yeah, apart from this Grammarly, we are in uh, the, the print uh, books and even land school we are doing and all sort of uh, the, uh, the, the, the data analysis software like Stata, NVivo, Smart PLC, everything will be uh, handled by us. And we, uh, even this uh, remote, access, uh, the, the remote proctoring service is also available with us. Eclavia. So this is all about uh, in my side. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity for me. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. Herat, uh, for the, uh, the information and the practical demonstration. So um, we will communicate with you over time on how things have moved on with the, our trial version. Okay, sir. And uh, then finally, thank you all for joining in for uh, another session of uh, Lighthouse Talks. Hopefully you'll benefit and take some of these message, um, the ideas across to your work and enrich yourself. Uh, then it's, uh, let's close it for the day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all participants.